right, y'all, and we're back for Black Ink Crew Chicago Season 2, Episode 8. Um, you know, we start off with everybody at the shop, you know. Um, they're talking bad shit about Cobra because Van and Charmaine, they got their crusty-ass feet on the damn table. And Van is shaking. He's shaking Charmaine sitting up here and saying, you know, I think Cobra wanted her job as a janitor or whatever. And, you know, um... Van, he asks, you know, where the broad at anyway in regards to uh, Cobra? And Ryan tells them, you know, well, I did fire her and everything. And they all hype and shit. And, you know, Charmaine is like that Cobra got sticky fingers and she was mad, disrespectful. And Ryan said that he felt bad at first until she trashed the place or whatever. And um, Van, he wants to turn up to Cobra being gone and everything and... You know, Kat, she says that, you know, she has an art show coming up and she wants all of them to be there. And, you know, um, she lets them know, I was going to use y'all as my paintings because she did, like, paintings for, like, the seven deadly sins. And she was going to use all of them, but she chose not to. But anyways, um, <laughs> moving on from that, we get the whole gang at the club. Um, they celebrating. They, you know, um... They lifted some of Van's restrictions, like his P.O. or whatever. They lifted some of his restrictions, so that's why he's able to be there. And he's all up on Charmaine and a whole bunch of other females. And, you know, Charmaine is not surprised that, you know, he's getting bait. But he was like uh, his girl Jennifer that he's been with for all these years would be. And that one of his clients um, named... Um, Oh, fuck. What is her name, y'all? Hold on. I wrote it down somewhere. Fendi. That's her name. Her, His client named Fendi, the girl that had the big butt and shit. She, you know, uh, comes and everything, and uh, she's all up on him and all this other stuff. And then Danielle and Kat, they making out and everything. Um, Van and Fendi, they swapping lemons out of each other's mouths. And Charmaine, she's looking at this shit, and she was like, I see nothing, I don't hear nothing, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, anyways, um, we get Ashley and Don. Um, she wants to do something special for Don since he's going away for um, two days or whatever. <laughs> I was like, you really want to do something special for him? He's going away for a fucking month, like... Girl, but anyways, um, she wants to do something special for him, so she got handcuffs and the dildo and stuff like that, and he's not with the whole dildo idea, but he's cool with the handcuffs. She's in, like, a, you know, corset and everything, and he's glad that she's being supportive, and he wants to go back to the Dominican Republic where he proposed to her, to, where he proposed to her at so they could get married and all this other stuff, and I'm like... And then Ashley got the nerve to be hype and shit. And she's ready and everything. And he was like, you know, she said yes. Just like, you know, she did the first time and all this other stuff. And I said, see, like, right there, like, him saying that to me, it just make me feel like in a way he know that she not going nowhere. Like, <sighs> but anyways, moving on from that. So we get the fellas, you know, they're smoking cigars at this place or whatever. Don tells them the news about him wanting to move the wedding up. And, you know, Ryan is like, you know, in his confessional, he like, you know, motherfucker, you just had a be um, baby mama pop up on you and shit like that. And now you talking about moving up the wedding? And, um, Ryan says that, you know, shit ain't been that damn good. And, you know, Don says that everything was pretty much his fault and all this other stuff. And he just wants to do right. And Ryan says he's going to be supportive if this is what he wants to do. And um, all the boys are pretty much in. Even though Four has his, you know, kind of, you know, his um, opinion on it. He feels like Don is rushing it because he's about to go to jail or whatever. But he admires what he's doing, trying to do for his family and everything. Moving on from there, we get Charmaine. She comes back to the radio station where Johnny is at. And, um... She wants, 
I'm sorry, no. Johnny says that, you know, he that she needs work and everything. And she says that she's been practicing. And, you know, he says that, you know, um, he hasn't given her another chance yet. It's just the simple fact that she's emailed him a hundred times and, you know, called him a, a hundred times. And that he's scared that she's going to pop up at his house next. But, you know, um, she gives this speech or whatever about why she you know, um, would be good for the job and everything. And he says that she's going to give her another chance, but if she blows it, that's it. Is no more um, opportunity for her. So, um, soon as she, you know, goes in, you know, and do does her thing, she does a way better job. Way better job than what she did the last time. And I'm not going to lie, I really was proud of her. So, he says that he'll bring her on board or whatever, you know, and that he does see the potential in her, and she FaceTimes her mom and tells her about it. Um, Van, he's with his girlfriend, you know, at her favorite hookah spot, and, you know, he's feeling guilty about the other night, so that's why he brought her there and shit. Um, he says that him being locked up made him realize that he's not ready to be tied down. I'm like, motherfucker, you was only locked up for four months, and then on top of that, you was in a fucking boot camp. You wasn't in county or some shit. You feel what I'm saying? And it's like, you've been with this girl for a minute now and... But, whatever. Anyways, um... She doesn't feel like, you know, that she's been getting a lot of... Uh, you know, a lot of alone time with him and everything. And that she cherishes these moments with him. And that she doesn't want him to be all about work, work, work all the time. And as she's saying this shit, he gets a text from a client or whatever. She's annoyed. She grabs his phone. And she sees that it's the Fendi girl or whatever that's on his phone shaking her ass and shit. And um, he says that they not fucking or whatever. And that they only exchange lemons at the club and... You know, he wants to have fun, and he's not suitable for one woman. And, you know, Jennifer, she's feeling some type of way about all this shit. And, you know, he was like, I like to get freaky. And she was like, okay, well, how freaky you want to get? And he was like, you know, I want to have a threesome. And she's like, nigga, that's it. You know what I'm saying? She was like, that's some basic ass shit. She was like, uh, we can have a motherfucking orgy. I was like, girl. <laughs> but, um, you know. When she says that, he's hype about all this shit because he doesn't have to lose his girl behind this. But I just don't never see nothing good coming out of threesomes. That's my opinion, you know. I'm selfish, you know. I just don't see nothing good coming out of that shit, but whatever. Um. Anyways, moving on from that, Ryan, he tells the girls about the Dominican Republic, you know, back at the shop or whatever. And that he's going to rent a house. And Ryan says that the girls ain't got to go to the wedding. So, he planned on not telling them about this shit. He was like, they could just chill at the crib. Before, is the one who spills the beans and says that, you know, you know, um, Don gonna get married and everything. And the girls, they looking lost as fuck. Ryan says, you know, I'm just inviting y'all on this trip. And Charmaine, she's kind of feeling some type of way. And, um, she keeps on making scenarios up in her head about Ashley friends trying to jump her again and all this other stuff. And that, um, they tell, you know, Van and, um, Ryan telling her, like, uh, no, I don't think it was Ryan. I think it was Van and Four. They was telling her, like, slow down, big fella. Like, you know, chill. Like, you know, it's not going to be all that. You're not going to be at the wedding. Charmaine says she's not going. And Ryan is like, well, suit yourself then. I mean, fuck. We're going to have fun regardless. So, we get the Cats art show. And she shows off, you know, her art pieces. You know, she used a woman to show off the different seven deadly sins. Terrence, he shows up. Four's girl, Nikki, is there. Um, Nikki feels like it's tension between her and Kat. And, you know, Nikki, it, you know, she feels like that, she feels the type of way because Kat had a piece of him. And Nikki um, is like, I mean, Four's like that Nikki shouldn't feel insecure about Kat or whatever. And, you know, Kat, she's feeling some type of way or whatever, because Nikki is there, and she was like, you know, that he was messing with her and Nikki around the same time, and everything, and that, you know, Kat found out her suspicions, and we get a flashback of that, or whatever, and her suspicions was true, and that, you know, Kat, she greets them, um, 
Nikki and four and everything. She was like, damn, y'all could have spoke or whatever, this and third. And, you know, he was saying that he was just explaining, you know, the level of respect that he has for her. And Kat feels like, you know, if you have a level of respect for me, you wouldn't be, you know, uh, bringing your girl to my show and everything. And as she's walking off, she calls him a clown and all this other stuff. And I'm like, Kat, I mean, this is his girlfriend. This is who he chose. At the end of the day, now, if he was messing with y'all at the same time, yeah, he could have been more on. He could have been honest about the shit and just say, look, you know, I'm dating around right now, whatever. But at the same time, this is who he chose. So you just got to fucking deal with it. And he has every right to bring his girl to nine mag events if he wants to because that's his girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, um, Charmaine, she brings up Dawn's wedding or whatever. You know, Van is like he can't go because, you know, the judge and stuff won't approve it. And he feels the type of way because he wants to be there for his bro. Um... Terrence, he's being insecure about the whole Dominican Republic uh, trip or whatever. Um, and he pulls Danielle to the side and everything and asks, you know, who invited you? Who invited you? And she's like, I mean, does it fucking matter? You know what I'm saying? Like, the whole crew is going. And I, I was with Danielle and just like, does it matter who invited me? The whole fucking crew is going. So regardless, you know what I'm saying? And he tries to turn the tables on her and says, you know, what if I was with somebody that I used to fuck with? you know, at, you know, in a trip or whatever, this, day and the third, and, you know, she's like, I wouldn't give a fuck or whatever, because it's like, at the end of the day, I would trust that you wouldn't do nothing with that person or whatever, this, day and the third, and once again, when Danielle was fucking around with Ryan, her and Ter Terrence was having no dealings with each other at this fucking point, you know what I'm saying, and he was not claiming her as his girlfriend up until this point, you know what I'm saying, I'm sorry, y'all. This shit keep on fucking bothering me. I can't... I don't even know. I can't even get this shit together. I keep on messing with it, but... Fuck it. Anyways, um... <laughs> you know, um... Yeah, she was saying that, you know, she would trust him and everything. And, you know, she was like, you know, what's the point of being with somebody that don't believe me and all this other stuff? And he says that she does deceitful shit. And I'm just like... Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I just don't see this shit working out between them two. But anyways, moving on from that, we get Charmaine and Ariel, Ryan's new boo. Um, Ariel says that Ryan, asked, she tells Charmaine, Ryan asked me to be my date or whatever because, you know, Charmaine is telling her about, you know, them talking about the whole Dominican Republic trip. And that's when Ariel sp spills the beans, like, you know, where well, Ryan invited me to be his date to the wedding. And, you know, um, Ariel, she really likes him, and she admits that they did have sex. And, you know, Charmaine is like, eh, eh, you know, being on some little kid, fifth grader type of shit. But she wants Charmaine to go, or whatever. So Charmaine agrees to go and everything. I was like, girl, you know you was going to go. VH1 was like, bitch, look. You better go to this shit if you want this extra money. <laughs> she know damn where she was going to go. Excuse me, y'all. Anyways, um, moving on from that. Uh, Kat, real quick, she's talking to her client about her last relationship and, and about how, you know, her dude that she was with was putting her hands on her and it was torture. And at the second time, it was even worse. And, you know, she didn't really tell nobody about it and... Her client is giving her a pep talk and, you know, she told Four about her past relationship and then him cheating on her, it kind of, you know, really hurt her and everything. I'm like, I, you know, I, I, I mean, I'm not, you know, I sympathize with Kat, well, empathize with Kat because I ain't never had a motherfucker put his hands on me. <laughs> I wish the nigga would and I don't fight back, you know what I mean? But I empathize with her, you know, with their situation because that is fucked up. But at the same time, Four wasn't your man. He wasn't your man. You know what I'm saying? So, he didn't cheat on you. Like I said, he could have been more truthful about what the fuck he was doing. But he wasn't cheating on you, per se. You know what I'm saying? But I do feel bad that that happened to her, you know, in regards to her, in regards to her last relationship and everything. And she says that she felt embarrassed and all this other stuff about you know even going through that shit that's why she didn't tell nobody about it so um we get the rooftop party you know for four and twister they performing their song 
Kat feels uncomfortable with Nikki being there and you know, um, she expected more from four and Nikki, she approaches Kat. And even, and she asks her, you know, what's the issue or whatever. And Kat is like, you know, I don't have one and everything. And, you know, she was like, there's just that four was messing around with us at the same time. And Nikki was like, no, he wasn't. So stop saying that. And, and she was like, you know, Kat is just jealous because it wasn't her and everything. And, you know, Kat is like, my problems is with four. It's not with you or whatever. And, you know, Kat is like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to fight this bitch or whatever, but I will fight a big bitch too if it's necessary. And, you know, um, Nikki is like, you know, I heard that the art show, you called me a bitch and a clown. And, you know, um, next thing you know, you know, Kat is like, you know, keep on trying to plead her case and everything. And then Nikki hits her or whatever. And then Kat, um, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Nikki hits her and everything, and they going at her, whatever, security comes in. Kat is like, she's not about to fight over four and all this other stuff. Danielle is like that four needs to come get his bitch or whatever, touching, you know, one of the members of the crew. Four, he automatically assumes that it was Kat that started the whole situation, and that she was in the wrong. Charmaine and Danielle is trying to tell him, no, like, your bitch started this shit or whatever now. I will say, Nikki, she did start the shit. She did start it by walking up on Kat, you know, saying all this stuff because of her insecurities or whatever from the conversation that she had with Four earlier in the episode. She still was feeling insecure and everything. Um, I understand, you know, Four be being by his woman's side and all this other stuff, and maybe he should have tried to get the other side of the story or whatever. And, you know, check everybody that was involved. I mean, I wouldn't have want him to check Nikki right then and there. But, you know, at home, you know, on some type of shit, tell her, like, hey, man, you know, you can't be just walking up on folk. I already told you what the fuck it was. You shouldn't have walked up on her. You know what I'm saying? If he was going to check Nikki, I would have rather him did it at home. You know what I'm saying? But I do understand him being on his girl's side at the same time. But for him to automatically assume the worst in Cat, it was kind of fucked up. You know, in that situation. But y'all tell me how y'all feel about the shit. If it was some shit that I left out, y'all put it down in the comments below. Y'all, you know, you know, make it do what it do. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.